and welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. We last left off, we were harassing Lemmy here. Yeah, uh, that didn't quite work out. Um, but wait, can I barter with him? I can, in fact. How about that? How about I give you... Uh, yeah. One pistol. Okay, I don't think that's price is very good. Okay, but how much do we want for one steam pack? Okay, that's not so terribly expensive. So we might want to get some steam packs. We have um. This magazine. Oh, that pistol. All these brass knuckles. Oh, an iguana on a stick. Oh, a new new Coca Cola. Okay, have all my iguanas on a the stick then. Okay, that's a good offer. Yeah, let's not waste our time with um, this monkey business. We are actually trying to to save our people from dehydration. So let us find the water merchant. This is the weapon shop. It's run by Beth. She's good for guns, but better for gossip. Hello, Beth. Okay, someone is blocking my path. It's... It's dog meat. Move aside, buddy. Hello, Beth. Hi there. How can I help you? Um... Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Don't be silly. Is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh yes. You ought to stay away as far away from the Maltese Falcon as you possibly can. Decker and his greasy lap dog Kane are bad news. They'll eat your life if you're not careful. It also give Lorenzo at the Friendly Lending Company a wide berth. What can you tell me about Decker? Now there's someone you don't ever want to mess with. He scares me. He owns the Maltese Falcon. Why did you say it like that? He owns the Maltese Falcon. Sorry, it just reminds me of a friend that used to own it before him. Decker wanted it really bad, but my friend wouldn't sell it. Two days later I found him dead in the back alley of Old Town. Why do you think Decker's responsible? My friend was always was a clean freak. He wouldn't come within a hundred yards of Old Town. He was shot with a magnum. Magnum. No one in Old Town could afford one of those. Plus, he was shot in the head and twice in the back. Does that sound like robbery? My friend was just trying to get his life back. His life back? You probably don't understand, but most of us look forward to the day when we own our own lives, when our lives don't belong to the merchants or the moneylenders. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No. Okay. Oh, thanks. Um, what can you tell me about the different merchants? Well, there are three main merchants, group, merchant groups. There's the water merchants, crimson caravan and Tafago traders. They also run the city council. What do you want to know about? Tell me about the water merchants. They are in charge of all the water. Greedy people. I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the worst and their jobs are just as bad. They do always control all the water? No. From what I've heard, 
A while back, a group of merchants seized control, control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants and people had to get water from them. The merchant war raged on for years until a man named Roy Green, yeah, Justin's grandfather, that's it, helped to negotiate on an agreement that ended the war. What kind of agreement? Well, he set up the city council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the tar out of them. Oh, sorry, I mean, they should have showed them who's the boss. Uh, yeah, by the way, um, I think it is due to our high level of intelligence that we have... Um, that we get these elaborate dialogue options. Okay. Thanks. Another question about the merchants. Uh, what about the Crimson Caravan? Crimson Caravan are a bunch of crazy people. They will do any job, no matter what the risk. I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than there are. They're missing caravans too? Actually, all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo traders are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky. They will pass right through an area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot, so they can hire extra hearts. The pay is great, but you have to be alive to spend it, right? Okay, let us let me ask you about the Fargo traders then. The Fargo traders pay well, and their jobs aren't too deadly. B Butch owns the shop. A good man. They are fair and let me do as I please with the with the place. I lo like working with them. Plus, you get a discount on anything you buy here if you work for Butch. Okay, what about the city council then? There are six representatives, two from each of the main merchant groups. Everything needs at least four votes to be passed. They can never agree on anything. Okay, that's all. Um, let us talk to Butch then. Uh, oh, he's not in here actually. Okay. I think I just misunderstood. Yeah, let us try to find Butch. Um, ah, there are the Fargo traders. Let us go and apply for a job. That's a caravan driver. Let us talk to a woodcut then. Hello and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we help you? Can you transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it will cost you. How much do you need and where is it going? I need it all! Someday I'm going to transform the face of the planet! You'll see! No, we need enough water su to supply a vault. A whole vault? Are you nuts? You don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. We've had enough missing caravans. Hmm. Is there anyone else who can? Oh, sorry. You're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even buy a bother trying to deal with them. They are a bunch of vultures. Where would I find them? You can't miss them. They're south of here. All barricaded in with that damn water tower. Okay, what do you do around here? I'm in charge of the... I mean, a help around the farther traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they will answer to. We trade war wares between all the different settlements. Okay, what do you trade? Uh, Why, well, we trade just about everything you can think of. Drugs, tires, guns, bullets, foot, brahmin, dirt, even scraps of metal. Dirt? Scraps of metal? You'd be surprised at what in demand, what's in demand out there. Something that's taken for granted in one place may be a highly sought-out, sought-after commodity in a settlement 10 miles away. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, enough with the boring match and chatter. Where's the door? No, thanks, bye. Uh, do you need any help? You're looking for a walk, are you? You look alright. Well, you should probably talk to Butch. He's for the door behind me. Let us talk to Butch. He is What do you want? Brr. Uh, I just want to ask a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Uh, here for what <laughs> or the money? <laughs> well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Um, by the way, did you notice that that's the person who narrated the introduction of Fallout? I did. Okay, what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take him out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Okay, do you have any close clues who is doing this? Well, there's uh, <clears throat> something, but I never listen to those rumors. Well, I do. What is it? You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but but I don't know nothing about that. Hmm. How do I find out about the Death Claw? How do you go talk to Beth? She knows more about that crap. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go check it out. Done and done. Now get on out of here. But come back and talk to me when you found something. Okay. Now we have been employed. Um, by the way, we, we had, we already had, um, heard the Death Claw being, being mentioned, namely in the Scum Pit, if you may remember. So now we have a new quest. Yeah, find the missing caravans. Uh, and that means, more importantly, that... When we talk to Beth, we will get a discount on all guns. So let us quickly go to Beth. Hello, Beth. Why, hello. It's nice to see you again. What can I do for you today? You just left. Miss me already? Uh, not really. Um... Can I ask you a question? What's the word on the street? about the missing caravans. Some people think the water merchants are responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn death claw, maybe the people over at Brotherhood, the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it is the water merchants? Because, like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans disappear too. Nothing like, what, nothing like what's happening to the Fargo traders but they are being affected. Hmm. They could be lying, or it could be a part of the plan to make you believe them. Good thought, but I highly doubt it. They've been sabotaging each other for years, but this is not their style. They wouldn't spend that much money to take out the caravans. Plus, all the caravans are very heavily guarded. You would think someone would escape. They don't have the manpower or the cash to pull that off. There would have been at least one survivor. Hmm. I suppose so. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but why would it happen to the Fargo traders more than the others? Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they are traveling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as the Crimson Caravans, but they might have better cargo than the mer water merchants. Who knows? There doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. Hmm. Another question about the missing caravans. What exactly is a Death Claw? The Death Claw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost, it's as real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with a teeth as big as your arm. It's some kind of demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. 
Uh, <laughs> you're crazy. I, sh I should just end your misery right here and now. No. Um, do you know anything about the death? Anything else about the death claw? Well, I know this old mutant in Old Town named Harold. He's seen it. He's the only one that's seen it and lived. Okay, I think we need to talk to Harold then. Um, yeah, sure. And I'm the Death Claw's daddy. No. The only one who has seen it and lived? Uncle Slappy over in Alton talks about it sometimes, but he's just a crazy old fool. Hmm, maybe, but maybe not. Okay, another question about the caravans. Why do you think it was the Brotherhood of Steel? Why don't you know? Why? <clears throat> Sorry. Why don't you know? I heard that they make human sacrifices and do all sorts of other terrible things. Really? I had no idea. You never know what a person really like, what a person's really like behind closed doors. You've got to be careful with who you associate yourself with. Was there anything else you needed? Okay, another question about the missing caravans. Um, I think that's that's exhausted the dialogue option. Yeah, and and that has exhausted actually our time. In fact, we went over time. So let us stop here. Um, and when we come back, folks, we'll yeah talk to the water merchants uh, and maybe try to find a death claw. So until next time folks, until then.